Here is a common tree that you might have seen. Can you guess the name? Here are some clues. Click on the tree Try to know more this is about the people trees. trees. Nearly every part of the tree can be used as medicine. From the bark, a reddish dye is taken out. The leaves are used to feed camels and elephants. When the leaves are dried, they are used for decoration and often painted. The wood lasts well in water and is sometimes used for building small boats. Surely you have seen this one. Guess the name. Here are some clues. Because of its size, the banyan tree gives shade. The wood of the trunk of the banyan is not of any use, but the aerial roots are strong and are used to make tent poles. Aerial roots are roots above the ground. Rope is made from the bark and roots of the tree. The leaves are used as plates and many parts of the tree are used in local medicines. Now look at this one. Seen it somewhere? Try to guess the name. Here are some clues. The coconut palm is perhaps the most useful tree in India as nearly every part of it can be used. In South India, it is called green gold. The string-like covering inside the outer case, called coir, is used to make rope, carpets and mattresses. The ribs of the leaves are used for making kites and brooms. From the sap or juice of the tree, wine or toddy is produced. The kernel or the edible part inside the nut is eaten. When crushed, it gives coconut oil from which candles, soap, margarine and many other things are made. In South India, most of the food is cooked in coconut oil. Here is another tree that you will find in your neighborhood. Can you guess which tree it is? Here are some clues. This is the neem tree. The most famous product of the tree is the oil obtained from the seed, margosa oil, used for treating skin diseases. The wood is heavy and drives away insects. It is often used for building boats. The leaves are used for treating boils. The twigs of the neem are used to brush teeth. You must have seen this tree in the forests nearby. Guess the name. Here are some clues. This is the teak tree. The wood of the teak tree contains a resin or sap which preserves it and stops insects or white ants from eating it so that even the poorer quality wood has many uses. The leaves are used as plate and for covering the roofs of cottages. When the tender leaves are scratched, a red color appears and this is used for dyeing cloth. Ash from the wood when burned is supposed to be very good for the eyes. This is a beautiful roadside tree. Guess the name. 
Here are some clues. The tamarind tree is often planted in parks and avenues and its wood has a regular grain and is very hard. The wood is often used for charcoal and for making the pin on the potter's wheel, wooden hammers and furniture. The fruit is a favorite for curries and pickles. The seeds are ground to make a flour which is sometimes used for making chapatis. The flour also makes a starch for stiffening cloth and has other uses in the textile industry. Where could you have seen this tree? Can you guess the name? Here are some clues. This is the casuarina tree. The wood is cheap and is often used for flooring planks instead of the more expensive teak. It also makes good firewood. A dye from the bark is used to color fishermen's nets. You will find this tree near your house. You could not have missed the fruit. Guess. Here are some clues. You're right, this is the mango tree. The wood of the mango tree is used for making furniture and boats. The fruits contain vitamin C. The tree is considered sacred. Mango leaves are therefore used to decorate houses on festive occasions. The fruit is regarded as the nectar of the gods. Have you seen this beautiful tree? Remember the name? Here are some clues. This colorful tree is called the silk cotton tree. Cotton has many uses and it is ideal for filling pillows and quilts and even sent to other countries under the name Sima. The gum which is taken out from the trunk of the tree is used in medicine and for book binding. Many other parts of the tree are used for medicines. The flowers are eaten as vegetables and also loved by animals. What about this tree? Do you recognize it? Well, here are some clues. This is the badam tree. If the nut is crushed, it produces an oil very similar to almond oil. The wood from this tree is used for house building. The Tasa silkworms who weave their cocoons of silk thread from which is then woven Tasa silk love to eat the leaves of the badam. The trees are therefore often planted near silk farms to feed the caterpillars. There are so many such trees in your neighborhood. Take a look around, list the trees and try to find out about their use. Don't cut trees and don't allow others to cut trees. Take good care of them. Trees are our friends.